So looking good on the battlefield in Space Marine 2 is a massive part of the game and massively important to the player. In this video guide I will showcase you exactly uh, what's on offer here in regards to class customization. How's it going guys my name is DPJ now thanks to Focus Entertainment for giving me early access to this game but for also supplying me with extra codes to give away to you guys so that's exactly what I am doing. So do you guys want to win the ultimate edition of Space Marine 2? Well it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave me a comment down below. The more I see you active on my Space Marine videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them just before the game releases on the 9th of September. So good luck everybody. Okay, so with the six playable classes of Tactical Assault, Vanguard, Bulwark, Sniper and Heavy, there is plenty of customization to be doing here. And then there's weapons too. So yes, there's a lot to discuss and to showcase. Okay, so within the armoring hall, uh, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see here, edit armor menu. Within here, guys, you can firstly see the armor sets. Now these armor sets are unlocked via you doing objectives. And from what I've seen, it's all about achieving victories within operations and eternal war. This game's PVP mode. Operations, by the way, is a PvE mod. It's a free player court mode, so don't get that twisted. That is not Eternal War. Eternal War is player versus player. Now, if we tab right, we have the Astarte chapters. I believe that's pronounced. It's Latin. I'm absolutely terrible with Latin, guys. Come some select. Uh, what these are, and I ain't really up to date with Warhammer by any means, and please correct me in that comment section if I do screw something up. I know this is a massive part of many people's lives, and I don't mean to insult anybody, but let's just say these ain't just different colours. They represent chapters, which are basically different factions or legions or armies. I mean, you name it, that's kind of what, what these are. Now, each represented here are by a different name. From Dark Angels to Raven Guard to the Iron Hounds, all represented by a different colour and badge. Now, for the most part, to unlock these chapters and what comes with them, you need to earn requisition in game. This is also done by completing operations. The higher the difficulty you play on, the more you can earn. And we'll talk about this uh, requisition in game currency towards the end of the video. Now in regards to these chapters, there are four tabs here you can learn more about each chapter uh, that you may want to represent, but I will leave you to do your own research when it comes to you playing the game. What I will say is, whatever you do indeed unlock, that is then there for you to use in every way you want. Because there is a custom armor set section, which consists of four slots per class. And within this option guys you can literally create your own look using different parts from different armor sets that you've unlocked using different colors from the different chapters uh, that you've unlocked as well as their logos that represent them too so you can literally create your very own space marine you can also change individual parts of the armor with whatever color you have available to you so the possibilities here are pretty much endless in regards to how you can indeed go into that battlefield looking it's wild guys now what i will say is uh so players don't get confused when it comes to doing this the chapters tab is where you apply colors and that logo you want to represent these colors and logos will then apply to your armor sets tab so yes loads you can do in regards to customizing your class and don't forget guys there are six classes here it's going to take a lot of grinding to be able to unlock all these colors now actually that's one thing i do not know if you unlock one particular chapter on one of your classes if it unlocks on the other classes too that's something i cannot confirm as of right now because when it comes to unlocking these classes you need that requisition which is also used to unlock more or less everything else in this game but yeah we talk more about that, like I said, towards the end of the video. So what about weapons? Well, weapons also have ways you can 
kind of customize their looks and uh, not in a way that's like you can be classes you can't change colors or anything like that it's just a certain appearance you can unlock but they are set in stone uh, i wish you could change the color of some of these it would be absolutely incredible but as far as i'm aware that's not quite possible in game yet so you do have an appearance option here with your weapons and this is every weapon in the game guys not just the one you're seeing on screen now and what these are they're kind of like cosmetic looks you will unlock via leveling the weapon up and using it and then spending that master crafted that artificer or that relic token aka discovery armory data that you've earned through playing to unlock said version section and then you have to purchase for that requisition the version variant of the weapon now what i will say is here they do improved stats which you can see when you hover above them um, so although I said they're kind of cosmetic they actually ain't but what I will say is I believe if you unlock two you can have these stats off one but have the appearance off another and that is why that appearance option is a separate option to the versions we have here now what I will say is it's kind of a complicated system at first in understanding mechanics behind weapons and leveling them and then unlocking different versions of them it's easier to understand once you start playing the game but i was kind of semi-confused at first so yes don't stress if you're kind of semi-confused about it basically how this works upon you playing the operations depending on the difficulty you are playing on you will obviously earn the xp you'll also earn requisitions and also those discoverable armory data these are what are needed to indeed unlock said versions of weapons which in turn change the appearance of the weapon at hand now you'll first need the green version called the Master Crafted. These drop from operations on that minimal and average difficulties. The substantial difficulty drops the RT Fisher. And then guys the ruthless difficulty drops the relic version. Now to progress the weapon to a stage of being able to unlock the relic version you need to earn around 17,000 XP. Or at least on this weapon. This is done via you using the weapon. A lot. Now once the XP is earned here you will then need that relic token to unlock the version section of said weapon you are using but then guys you will need requisition to purchase said version. Now the mastery points you are seeing here isn't to do with the versions it's to do with a perk tree which is another section of this weapon to make it even better. And again guys this is a system in place for every weapon in this game. Ones that shoot and ones that chop up now in regards to requisition this is used in like i said unlocking those uh, chapter colors for your classes they are used in unlocking your class uh, per tree slots they're used here in quite an abundance in regards to weapon and leveling so yeah you're gonna need a lot of these problem is they don't drop that often yes the higher difficulty you play on in regards to those operations the more you will earn but as you start playing this game guys i will highly doubt you're going to jump straight into the harder difficulties you're going to have to work your way up leveling up your character getting much much better but hey it is all about you and how you plan on playing this game i personally i like to look good on the battlefield before i started performing but hey that's just my opinion you may want to play good before you look good again that's completely how you want to play the game but yes guys this is the lowdown on the customization options available in space marine 2 it's quite a hefty system there's a lot to unlock a lot of grinding to do and i cannot wait until we're all playing hardcore guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one